So I've seen a lot of uh, interesting article pieces and hot takes and certainly a lot of hate pieces on X-Men Dark Phoenix. So I want to address some of this in a kind of a breakdown of why a lot of people feel this way. So let's talk about it. So clearly Dark Phoenix has only had one trailer. And that's what everything is based on. So as I always say, it's not fair to judge something by the first trailer. But people are doing it anyway. I'm doing it. I'm certainly guilty of it. But then people say, oh, you're just, you know, you guys are fanboying, the entire internet is behind it, um, nobody wants to give it a chance because it's not Disney, yada, 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 right? And first I have to take a step back and kind of try to explain this to you guys. Um, it doesn't come from a place of hatred. Most of you know X-Men First Class is my favorite comic book movie of all time. And I wanted more than anything to love Apocalypse. Like, a year and a half before it came out, it was my number one most anticipated comic book movie. And it turned out to be absolute garbage. So going into Dark Phoenix, we're talking about a movie that's been delayed twice. Three times if you count the original Mysterious Date, which they never confirmed was for it. So that already gives you a kind of a, uh-oh. It's in trouble. Just sit back and go, uh-oh. But then, you kind of consider all the news around it. We see the reports that's going back for extensive reshoots. To reshooting complete third act. So you start to wonder, oh man, everything's true. And then it gets a second delay into, you know, further down into the summer. And you're like, well, it's not looking good. <coughs> Now, I get it. I get it. It is cause for worry. But what else people are worried about is that it's having all this trouble behind the scenes and everything. Actors that didn't even want to be in there, that are only there to pick up their paycheck. And on top of that, it's being directed by a man whose only other noticeable work in the comic book, or even his entire genre and existence of uh, directing, is doing the reshoots for Fantastic Four, the 2015 version. So can you now see why people like myself and other people out there reporting on this are dubious to the quality of this movie? Now, I know people are going to bring it up Oh, but you didn't mention Solo and yada yada. Look, I did. I mentioned before, Solo had a ton of production problems. But I love Solo. I'm not telling you it's a perfect movie. I'm telling you it's like a 7 out of 10. But even when it was played with all that, I knew it's still, you know, it's a Star Wars movie, so my bias is going to automatically love it anyway. And I admit that every time. Even when I reviewed it, I said, look, I'm a fanboy, so let me review this. So if you're a fanboy, it's okay. I understand where you're coming from at the Fox X-Men movie, right? It's your brand, you love it, you gotta hang on to it. But realistically, every time this has happened with one of these blockbuster high-budget movies, it's turned out to be a disaster. Batman v Superman, Suicide Squad, Justice League, X-Men Apocalypse, and now Dark Phoenix. So if there's a history of a pattern of this happening within the same company and the same franchise, such as with Origins, and to an extent of The Wolverine, because the whole ending with Silver Samurai was apparently, you know, quick reshoots at the end. And then Apocalypse. There is a history and a problem and a precedent that was set here before that paints a negative picture. That's why we're thinking and writing the pieces we are. And that's why we're not excited. Because it's all happened before. <laughs> 